Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. So last episode we decided that we are going to increase our world trade power by going east. We decided that we are going to uh, colonize right down here. And it looks as though we're going to end up coming in contest with these guys. Uh, Ayutthayana? Something like that? Thaya? Ayutthayao? Ayut. I keep inserting sil inserting and inserting syllables that syllables, god damn it. Syllables there. Talented and ambitious daughter. Swearing of the people of Silent Advisors. You have an ambitious and talented daughter. It's impressed both diplomats, foreign nobles, and your advise personal advisors with their wit and cunning. What the fuck was that? Wait, did I die before I got a chance to even... 534. A nobleman with an average claim becomes heir. A rebellious people for five years. Well... Huh. Okay, uh, let's see. This would have given me a... 534, which is a total of 12. I ended up with a 454. Four. Okay, well, that's 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 okay. Let's uh, open up our list of uh, uh, Patreon subscribers here. If I could find it in my my little notebook here. And we're going to go with... We're going to name him... I'm going to pronounce that Renout. Now, do we have... So that's our heir, right? No, uh, no, that's uh, Shoguness. We're, we're looking for Sokolovkaness. So 545... Four five four. That is amazing. That is astonishingly good, and I have a good air as well. I couldn't have been happier with the way that worked out. Uh, the problem I'm running, I think I'm going to end up running into, is any prolonged conflicts are going to really sap my very low manpower. But um, these guys are getting their butts kicked, even though they have extraordinarily superior tech. By these dudes. I don't. Do I have a CB against them? No, I have no CB. Those guys are properly mothballed up. Second fleet's just hanging out. Auto transportation's on. And our entire fleet of light ships needs to get upgraded right now, which is going to cost far more money than we can afford. But I think what we're going to do is just wait for an advisor to die off. And then uh, we'll work on... Let's improve relations here. Firm. Thought we already had a royal marriage. Must have ended when our, when our, our person died. Um, let's see, let's get a royal marriage, confirm. Trying to get these guys to like me, I would love to Diplo annex them or make them, make them a vassal is what I really love. I mean, they're small and weak. I, I doubt they have enough development to pre really prevent it. They would just need to like me a lot. What is the negative? Trust. So we just need to get the trust up. All right, we can work with that. So we're probably going to end up coming into um, head dad conflict with both Brunei and Ayutthaya. Um, Ayutthaya. Stability or prestige right now? Uh, our prestige is pretty good. Uh, honestly, right now I'd rather have the, st the stability point, though. So we're going to take that. And again, it'll give us the option to reform the government, which at the moment, we're not going to take. I wish I had a theologian to get that missionary strength, because taking we have a lot of stuff to convert. And it's going to take a long time to get it done. Do we still have the negative 10? We still still have that, but there's this work. In us. So we're going to take the ID group. Morale of navies. 
And this should be naval attrition. That's going to save me a lot of sailors and money. Yeah, these guys got their butts kicked. Must have a, a much superior, a very, very, very superior um, military here. Just in terms of sheer numbers to overcome four tech difference. These guys are too big for their britches still. I keep denying that um, request because I want them. I want to go to war with them eventually. Alright, we're going to take this one right here because our troops are standing next to it. Alright, I want to take a look at my military real quick. Our traditions at 15. That's not too bad. And it's still on an upward note. Our naval tradition should be pretty good, right? Yeah. Naval tradition's pretty good. Well, it's 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 okay. It's not zero is what I'm I'm going for there. I'm really looking forward to this becoming a proper colony. Rival of our rival. Very nice. Prove relations. That's easy. So we'll just prove relations. I want, I, again, I'd love to just make them a vassal, but that's not feasible. Unless I force vassalize them. Which I guess I could do. I could go to war with them, snatch up the coastline. Which is going to be, in terms of trade good, what's that going to give me? That would give me uh, fish, or is that one already mine? That'd give me ivory, 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 gold. I wouldn't be uh, opposed to that. I wouldn't be opposed to that at all. A great advisor has died. The diplomat. Um, looks like we still got two level threes in there. And I don't think any of these guys are theologians. So, right now I'm thinking just keeping it cheap is kind of going to be the way to go. We're going to deny that we're not going to do that. Although we will do it over here. Uh, dynastic. Oh, we already have one over there. Never mind. What does Ethiopia think about us? Core provinces, different religions. Nah, nothing, nothing too big of a deal to worry about. Expulsion of merchants. Too successful in trade. They stay. French Brazil's opinion goes down. Gains power of plus five. Merchants will keep a low profile. Oh, I don't care if they don't like me. It's not any of my concern. But where is our... I think most of our money is going to be going to advisors right now. State maintenance. Fort, uh, I only got three fortresses, so that's not a big deal. All colonial maintenance is pretty high. The missionary is not that high. Corruption is nothing. It's just the army and fleet maintenance. Um, so why don't we drop that down just a little bit more? We're going to recall. Oh, wow, look at that. They took one. It's so weird, though. It's all... They took one, two, three, four provinces all just smattered out there. I think... Well, I'll, well, I get an audit. No, they're Western, so I would need to... I would need to do this manually, because they're a Western power, so I'm not going to be able to just have a claim. So we're going to have to build a spy network there. If we're going to go to war with those guys, which I do plan on doing. What about these guys? So, they're going to be Chinese tech group, too. Hindu. And these guys look Sunni. I need a theologian. Well, can I get a theologian from... Hang on a second. Let me check something. Let's try something. Uh, let's see. Call a diet. 
grant generalship. General, ooh. No, that's nobility. Uh, I want clergy, probably. Gain admin power. Lose ducats, gain loyalty. Seek support of the clergy. Um, trade some prestige and legitimacy for loyalty. Recruit a minister. Gain a, a skill three theologian. This advisor is 50% cheaper for your country to employ. Pause. Excellent. Recall. Finland has a civil war. So, Spanish new word missions. Native assimilation. Interesting. That's for 20 years. It doesn't cost anything, but right now I, I want that theologian. We're going to do... Should we do that? Gains influence, yeah. An estate who's in more than 80% is risk of seizing power in the nation. Interesting. So how would I l decrease their influence? So that's, I, I wasn't paying any, wasn't really paying any attention to that. Um, well, I think we could decrease their influence by, by doing this. So the more I learn about them and, and figure out how to micromanage these bastards, the more I like them. This will decrease their loyalty by three, influence by 2.4, prestige. Okay, so we're gonna take some shit away from them can't see the, the numbers. So we're, to, we're just gonna, we're gonna take some shit away from them until it gets below 80%. 86, 84, 81. Alright, there we go, that's fine. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna go in. And it's gonna be in here. No, is it going to be in here? Theologian is what I'm looking for. That's my theologian right there. All right, so we're going to do that. That should allow us. Or maybe not. No, it's in there. Wandering Shaman. All right, good. And we could do Vision Quest if we want, which is yearly prestige at stability cost modifier price, 5%. I will actually take that because haven't you? I've barely used stability cost modifier, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, good. So our missionaries should fly now. All right, so this one's done. This one's all set. We only have one missionary. Belongs to a trade company. So, if it belongs to a trade company, you're basically not allowed to touch it. And I don't think I'll have a CB against these guys. No. I will eventually. Now, what is my trade power here? Weeds, wields... 12% of the trade power here. So we're, we have one, we have a couple sitting around that are basically not doing anything. Like that guy's pushing a ton. This guy's basically doing nothing now. Uh, do I have any over here that are pretty useless? No, you're collecting here, which is fine. You're collecting there, which is a little bit. Well, who's doing the least? This guy's doing the least. So we are going to recall the merchant from, from Indus. And we're going to see if we can put him over here. Alright, can we bring him over here? We can. Transfer trade power. So he's going to get over here. Oh, uh, I didn't finish the transfer trade power. You. You. We'll arrive in 48 days. Yeah, that missionary is going so much faster now. Did he make it over there yet? All right, he did. And that's all getting pushed straight over to my capital where it's getting collected. So that is much more useful. Much more useful. 
All right, go to the colony. Finished up over here. I've got 11,000 troops over here. I'm thinking that's overkill at the moment, but I kind of want to keep them there just in case. I mean, I could, I could definitely do something more useful with them, but for now, I think we're okay. Let's see. I want to take this one. We're going to add it to the trade company. Make it more, uh, give it more trade power. All right. Well, that's a lot more money than I was working with before. And I could, well, I could add a couple of trade power. So, well, well benign neglect is what I had before. Trade efficiency, interest per annum. Uh, I don't really think, trade efficiency is great, but the interest per annum is not really anything I care about. I really feel like the interest per annum is not a really important thing because nobody, I've never seen a player take out loans like, Purposely, you only I've only ever seen people take out loans when it they were in dire straits When they just really had to Colonize Dukunu Is that over here somewhere? Well, let's find it It was N U K Oh, way down there. It wants me to go into Australia. That's interesting. Ethiopia announced Sakalava is their new rival. So, Ethiopia is getting too big for its britches again. Great advisor has died. It's our military advisor. Uh, discipline reinforced speed. Right now, um... I don't think I'm going to go for a level 3. I think I'm going to split the difference and go for a level... Well, the discipline is... more important to the actual military than anything else. Trade range and trade efficiency. We're going to take that. Because anything to, to boost trade efficiency is extremely useful for me. Never had 8 merchants before. Cork bottle stoppers! So, price of wine increases by 25%. I'm not really trading in wine, so that's not a big deal for me. Alright. Um, are you guys doing anything? You're just sitting here repairing. What is your mission? Seven hundred gold to upgrade these guys. Alright, I need some more troops. Over in this region. Uh, we're actually gonna go over here. You are gonna go over here. We're gonna send out a... Whoa! 13! Yes. Let's select a mission to conquer Muku Muku. Where is that? Muko Moko. Muko Moko. Muko Muko. Fine province. Oh! That's that one right there. So we have a CB against these guys now. Well, we have a CB against these guys now. Good. Good for me. Uh, we can send some troops, some more troops over if we want to. I feel like these guys are always stuck here repairing. Relations improved for the fetishist faith. Soldiers break f fatty? Concept of social and religious taboo. Tricky behavior in the often difficult outside to grasp. Our troops have sometimes found themselves ostracized by locals due to the inability to follow the rules. There's a lot of causes of serious offenses. Recently, however, some of them actually set up a camp in the area declared to be fatty. Fatty? Fatty? Even enter without being properly prepared. So, Sakhalava visitors break fatty. Sakhalava will plot against diplomatic insult on Saplata. Uh, a Sakhalava. So, that would give them a diplomatic insult against me. Issue an apology uh, for our ignorance of the local customs. I will take that hit. That naval attrition. Yes! That's going to save me a ton in the long run. Maritime ideas are starting to look useful to, to me. Now, where were you? This, this guy was the one in Salon. I'm going to split this in half. Uh, let's have them protect trade and salon. 
kind of decentralize a little bit. Select trade, protect. Zill, Cape of Good Hope, nothing there. Elf of Aiden is already huge. We already have a huge uh, amount of the trade power there. Cow, Malaka. That's what I'm thinking we need to do, is send these guys over here. Oh, and we can tech up admin. Nice. Republican dictatorship and absolute monarchy could become available. Uh, ooh, who is this? One of our advisors, certainly the greatest scholar of our time. His field of expertise in classical literature has great influence on theological debate in our nation. Oh, please tell me missionary strength. Well, we're max. This is great. Maxed out on mission on stability already. So yes, we're going to take fifty prestige. That's freaking huge. These should go. Oh, they go so fast now. Now, let's do Mogadishu, because that's the most difficult one to convert. So, I want to get it done ASAP. Our troops should be heading over this way now. The light ships are about to arrive, it looks like. Yeah, we're, we're sucking a lot, of that trade a lot of that trade power. We're using our trade power to just uh, send the, the trade value out somewhere else. Which is great, 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 great for me. Alright, so if we wanted to, we can go to war with these guys. I think what we got... I'm honestly thinking 6,000 troops is enough. So let's... Army maintenance, uh, slider up. Ooh, 56.5% comes from trade right now. And Zanzibar is easily the most valuable trade node in the world. English Civil War. So our shit's going down up there. Eight merchants. I am loving the eight merchants thing. Alright, so these guys. Diplomacy. I'm gonna declare war. Take Muko Moko. I don't know why I, pron I keep pronouncing it different, uh, incorrectly, but... No big deal. And we're going to siege down. Can these guys actually blockade the thing? 100%, yeah. I can take care of that. Uh, and we're just going to sit we're just going to take care of this easy like with just just this one little army. It, I could do it quicker with, you know, different troops, but All right, we need to upgrade our our ships here. Which is going to cost a ton of lives and a ton of money. It's going to give me a lot more trade power. Oh shit! So we need more troops here. So let's do this. Um, select a new unit. Let's do. Let's take three thousand of these guys. And we can just. That's fine, right? Select this unit. Transport them right here. Uh, the transport serving is like uh, basically a makeshift bridge, so we can send them over there super easy. Like three thousand should be enough to take care of any rebels. Uh, that'll actually give us a, a good, a little more oomph with our besieging artillery. All right, so they're coming for me, which means we need to take them out. Oh, let's uh, get a leader in here. Or no, I can't get a leader in here. Let's move over to my my territory, then we'll put a leader in. Oh no, nope, I guess we're uh, we're gonna fight there. And we're going to lose. I anticipated a win, honestly. Hmm. These guys are a little tougher than I expected. So let's uh, get the rest of our troops over here. And hopefully not get stack wiped. Which just happened. Unfortunate for me. So, uh, completely underestimated these guys. Again, um, it's my... Over-reliance on technology sometimes that does me in. Uh, so let's... This is gonna be more difficult than I anticipated. Um, for starter, well, let's, let's get the... 
the troops back over here. They're going to destroy this colony, unfortunately. I think that's how that's going to work. You guys get, up, get back out of there. Shiza. Didn't anticipate this at all. Alright, so you are going to come over here and pick up these troops. These troops are going to replenish some some men. Let's say, let's grab, um, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's bring it up to 20,000. Uh, I'll need 10 more transports to move them in one go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. More transports. Alrighty. Construct the Panama Canal. Pan Panama is owned. Well, for 30... Is that Did I say 30,000 ducats? Jesus Christ. So I, 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 I borked this up pretty good. And there's pirates over here that I keep forgetting about. Hang on, create a new unit. Let's take like... 12 of these guys. Select this unit. Select mission. Hunt pirates. Right here. Uh, the rest of these guys need to get on their mission. No, you're hunting pirates. These ones need to protect trade. And you were... Not capable... Gulf of Aden, I think, is where they need to... Where they were. I don't know. I've already got... Well, it's only 30... Uh, yeah, Gulf of Aden, I think. Hopefully they decentralized the... Well, where's our... Our navy. Here he is. All right. Hang on, I got I want to check on something real quick. Keep getting distracted by lots of things. All right, and 140 guns. There are 140 guns privateering in this trade node. But we have um, people hunting pirates. So, All right, where's our military? And where are our ships? Alright, so the ships are coming. So we're just gonna let that marinate over there until the ships are done. And then we're gonna do this all... And then we're gonna do this right. I honestly thought the troops I had over there would do the trick. Um, I completely... It's not the first time I've done it where I've looked at someone and go, Okay, they've got less military tech than me. I don't need to worry about them at all. I need to stop doing that. But, uh... Ooh. Local goods produced... Loses aggressiveness. Nice. Alright, so... All of you guys... Well, no, not all of you guys, but all of you guys... Need to come over here. You're gonna transport this army. And one go. Conversion successful! Huzzah! That was Mogadishu! 45. Won't let me do it, though, because of why. Cannot send a missionary. You're kind of like a colonist. However, we'll convert to dude faith. Okay, that's fine. All right. So now we do this. Um, let's get rid of this one. Merge those together. This army, who doesn't have a leader, but we'll get one. A one-one leader. All right. So now come on over here, and we're gonna deal with this. We're gonna deal with this like. A proper world power by absolutely crushing these fucks. Uh, how close am I to my force limit? 147 of 153. Almost all trade ships. Great advisor has died. Boo. Hopefully it wasn't my theologian. National. It was my theologian. That just took out the missionary strength. So we're going to take the trade efficiency then. And we're going to wait for our transports to get over here. Then we're going to do this proper like. 
We're not gonna let them overrun me. We got a properly constructed uh, army here. Got stack wipe. That was probably the worst military disaster I've suffered. A stack wipe from a uh, a more primitive tribe. So we're gonna take my stuff back. Who's gonna get here first? I should get there first. Or not. I thought I would. But we got him this time. Proper army that's properly, you know, configured. Tariffs on iron. Tax it. So we're gonna take our stuff back and then we have to start sieging down their stuff and then we'll be good. Although this guy should be able to siege super fast. Let's get him over there, and then we'll then we'll work. No, you should still be going. Good. Uh, you move over here. Yep, he's got to work out pretty well. Um, all right, let's just end this episode right here. If you have enjoyed it, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, Europa Universalis 4, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you guys next time.